Apparently, this is a rolling start. Sorry. <laughs> so this is a league that I got turned onto uh, through a Matt Malone video, and uh, it is the Rough Riders League. Um, it's a fun league. Um, passing the time in the uh, Porsche roof, and uh, hey Jeff, looks like you and I are bringing up the rear, brother. Damage is turned uh, off. Took so. out of trouble. This is that Redwood Bowl ring. Minutes. B19. So, fun car. At the Red Bull ring. Good luck. And uh, I'm Connor outclassed. I qualified 13th. 19th. In the right column. So I'm outclassed. 2.4k uh, strength of field. Seemed like a good group of guys, though. Up to the guy ahead. Twenty six cars in the field, so it says. Okay, Chip, are you ready? Watch for the lights. Where people tend to get a little over ambitious. It's a 25 minute race, so seems uh, like a fun little race. Definitely taking that hairpin too slow. So this is the first race that I've driven in probably a month now of any league. Apparently that's an hour and a half slowdown. Yellow flag, I knew. Watch out. That was exciting. Got to know. P19.
I can't find the button. Come on, Chip. Good stuff. Keep it coming. I give you the uh, speed limiter instead of talk to push the talk. Ah, no! We're looking alright here. Damn Keep it! The concentration nice and smooth. That's 20 minutes to go, 20 minutes. Oh, sorry, Chuck, there's nothing to do there. I don't know. Sorry if you ever ride your T bone. All right, no damage, no damage. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> Benefit of a uh, oh, no damage... Uh, damage turned off is that I can get right back in the fray, but boy, that knocked me down the field a little bit. That was pretty funny. Bye-bye now. I drifted it to the point I couldn't drift no more. Now, 0.6. <laughs> One thing that's fun about driving this car is it rotates ridiculously well. Sometimes way too well. Again? Yep. Okay, wait. Nothing to see here, everything's fine. P twenty two. I hate that turn. Like it a little more in the GT3R, but not much more. Sorry, Matt. My bad.
Sorry, Eric. I got it, I got it, I got it. Twenty first. Sector three is not point eight. Off the pace. All right, Chip. The next car is Thompson. The gap behind is now <laughs> one point nine. Second off in sector one. The gap to Thompson ahead is now 1.5 seconds. Oh, come on. We got nothing for you. Yellow flag. Okay, Chip. Halfway home. Fuel looks good. Will help. Stay on it. This isn't over yet. 20th place. So I'm one down from where I started, which isn't bad, I guess, considering how hard I was hit. And the actor Thompson ahead is now 1.6 seconds. Thank you. You are welcome.
Okay, Chip. Don't think about the lap times. Just hit each and every apex. P19. That turn just sucks. Oh, looks like I'm back where I started, P19. Thompson in the gap is 1.5. Yeah, lap to lap, it varies. This car is one of those that you have to drive really smoothly in order to get anything out of it. Come on, baby, turn. Holy crap. <laughs> car spins in front of me and I forget how to drive the car. It's called temporarily going stupid, I think. I know I'm over braking on that last turn, but I can't seem to break myself with that habit. Eighteenth. 
Sector 1 is 1.2, off the pace. Decent exit out of the hairpin there. Okay, Chip. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. Relax, focus, keep it smooth. My bad, Jay. Oh, you're okay. The gap ahead is now 2.9 seconds. That was a 131.6. Our contact, I don't believe that. Sector 3 is 0.6, off the pace. Where'd Tom went? <laughs> yeah, bad joke. Don't dare go down into first in this car at the hairpin. <laughs> it's like a permanent right-hand turn in first gear. I won a couple of... Uh, Time Tile Championships driving this car. Two minutes to go, two minutes. And I think mostly because people that drive it fast have a hard time driving it without any incident points, and uh, that's the art for the time trial. Because a lap doesn't count unless it's a perfect lap with zero X. That was a horrible lap. That was horrible. Take the one X rather than wrecking the car. It's actually been a remarkably clean race given that it's uh, zero okay, damage, so no race. incident point limits. And a bunch of really fast guys that are, I don't know, they could be drunk for all I know, but still, courteous group, which is nice to see. Yellow flag, caution. 
Really sad that uh, it doesn't look like Matt Malone actually made this race, because uh, I watched his first two. Uh, one was at uh, Interlagos, the first race, and the second race was at Watkins Glen. This is season one of this particular uh, group, and uh, season one um, subtitled Cookies and Cream. Not really sure where the cookies and cream comes from, but... I feel your pain, Stefan. White flag, one more lap. Jason, this is a whole sausage lap. I'm just warning you now in case I don't. <laughs> Sounds good. <clears throat> this has felt That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Longer than twenty five minutes for a race, but um it is a twenty five minute race. Hey good race guys, that was fun. and tried to swap around. <laughs> Whoa! I'm called for. Uh, what's the record for X's? And there's the finish. Good result, mate. Well done. It's a fun race, guys. Thanks for uh, letting me join. Speed limit is 50 miles per hour. <laughs> 300 feet. 100 feet. That was fun. In the Rough Riders uh, race three at Red Bull Ring, looks like I actually finished P14. Started P19, so gained five positions. So ain't a bad result. My fastest lap was a 131.273, which is pretty slow. Um, Aeronom um, is phenomenal <laughs> and very fast. 129.050 was his fastest lap. Um, and I think he, yeah, he started first, finished first. So not many people held a candle um, to him. Randall McGrew. Um, is the uh, administrator of the league, so the guy that founded the league, um, and he does a couple of other things. There's a uh, a Mustang 
uh, series that uh, is quite popular if you're into the Ford Mustang and racing that car um, on uh, the iRacing platform. Um, that league is kind of fun to watch um, and probably fun to participate in, although I suspect it's a harder league to get into uh, because it's highly competitive and they do all sorts of crazy stuff there. But uh, anyway, um, a good fun first outing out of 26 cars to finish dead mid-pack uh, in uh, 14th position. That is not a, a bad way to start considering the company um, had a great time and uh look forward to the next one thanks for joining and uh as always uh we'll see you around on the track and uh pca sim racing um this week is uh sport and challenge if you're watching uh, that series um there at indy so finishing up that race week um and then uh i think we go to road america and pca sim racing next not sure what's next here um let's actually take a quick peek here at the rough riders league and look at the season and view the season uh schedule so first race was at interlagos second one was at watkins Glen. we just finished the red bull ring next one's going to be at the nurburgring grand prix um which is a fun track as well hard track to drive um it doesn't take you out on the nordisch life um but it's uh um, just the, the Grand Prix track. Norch Life is a whole other <laughs> thing that I wouldn't participate in. Um, and this car would be a nightmare for me. I don't drive that, that part of the track very well, but the Grand Prix track is actually quite fun. And this car is a lot of fun to drive on it. We'll do Road America and Silverstone. Don't know how many of these I'm going to do, but I wanted to at least do one, uh, just to say I did it. I had hoped to see Matt Malone in a race to say I raced with Matt Malone. Um, but unfortunately he did not make it. So sadly, um, if you don't know who Matt Malone is and you're going, what the heck, I, I, I'm in amazement that you found my feed and you've never heard of Matt Malone. But uh, Matt Malone uh, is a sim racer. He goes way back, has been doing streaming for a very long time, Str streams mostly on Twitch, um, but also does a lot of YouTube videos um, and is a hoot to watch, a very entertaining racer um, to watch. So if you haven't checked him out before, you really should. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you later. Bye now. Was machen wir im Sport?